What's up, everybody? Another beautiful day in this beautiful state. On our way to, I'm on my way to your sea. My co pilot, brother, is not here again today. He's making the money, doing his work. It's all good. Got, uh, we're actually leaving early today. Finally connecting up with uh, the guy I've been trying to do the private with. So, I'm gonna go early today. I did want to talk about a topic that uh, I kind of been hearing about. Actually, I listened to a podcast. I'm listening to podcasts now, right? More, more information help my help my mind as I talk about jujitsu. Think about jujitsu, right? So when I started to talk about like you know what he does when he's injured, you know, like significantly injured and he cannot train, yeah. So one of the things he started talking about was visualization, right? It's interesting. I guess he's a super uh, advanced uh, guy already. Like he's an OG. Malik, Maliki Friedman. Not sure if you guys heard of him. I started following him on Instagram. Pretty slick stuff. Anyway, he started talking about when he's in, when, when he's injured, or the times that he's been injured. He likes to do visualizations, right? So he'll read, um, he'll watch uh, instructionals and stuff, and then run it through his mind. And I guess he's at such a high level that he said once he's ready to train again, it's like he knows how to do it already, right? I mean. I don't know that everybody can do that, but I mean, he said he does that, right? So I started to kind of think about how I use that, or do I even do that, right? Usually what I'll do is um, when I'm trying to learn a move or I see something, I get this look, like Carter sees it, like I kind of look up in the air and then I'm trying to run that sequence through my head, like trying to like, I don't know register it and figure out what happened or what I need to do or try to I won't say memorize it but try to learn it yeah so it's one time that I do it and I don't know if I'm the only one maybe I'm weird I, I think I've heard other people say that you know before you go to sleep sometimes like of course when you're super tired right boom you just you just knock out but a lot of times when I train at night I, I have a hard time sleeping right off so my mind starts to wander so then I'll start to think about some of the techniques that I did or some of the situations that are in that I went through that that night's practice right rolling it through my head visualizing what I did I, <laughs> it's kind of kind of weird but I obviously like to think about the good stuff that I did of course that's a lot of times it's kind of far and few so I got to try to think about like that one thing that went right that night sometimes especially like the comp class and concept I just get marked over there around of fucking everybody's like a hammer and everyone's going super hard, right? No one's no one's giving this old man a chance. Everybody's practicing, you know, getting getting ready for their competition. So I get it. I mean, I'm not looking for no sympathy or whatever. So I try to go as hard as I can too, but it's just it's just a different level. But anyway, back to the topic of the visualizations, right? So I'll I'll lay in bed and I'll think about it. But the bad thing is sometimes it gets my mind going so much that I cannot sleep then like it takes me a long time to sleep so I try not to get too into it when I think about it but it does it does help me to think about you know where I was at what I was doing maybe how I can improve um, things like that right so eh, I don't know I, I, I kind of like to do that you know sometimes when I'm daydreaming I guess I think about it too but the way the guy was talking about it, it's like he's learning from it, right? So it's his way of doing his his homework, so to speak, and training without being able to go out on the mat, yeah. So, knock on wood, you know, um, I hope I don't have to go down that path, but if I do, you know, maybe that's what I'll try to look into. Anyway, I'm almost at the gym, mentally preparing for my private, and then the two kids classes. Oh yeah, and then we got special guest Kawai, uh, teaching teaching class tonight so kind of can kind of lay back and let's try to record it turn it into a video for him right post it up so people can kind of see what he taught but um, I guess like I say if you're training tonight train hard train smart stay on that grind keep pushing yourself get out of that comfort zone stay jitsy see you on the next one Boss.